Hello, and welcome to this brief tutorial of the legislative section of the Empire Space Census. The Empire Space Census is the most comprehensive database of space and aerospace related institutions, organizations, and facilities in the state of New York. Empire Space, as an organization, is dedicated to understanding and growing these institutions and organizations so as to better position New York to reap the economic and social benefits uh, coming with the rapid growth in the 21st century new space economy. Uh, and one of the ways in which we do that is through legislative tracking, uh, coding, and analysis so as to foster grassroots and legislative uh, connectivity and action. Uh, so what you're looking at right now is the map of our census. This is our data map of all of the information we have gathered on the New York space ecosystem. You can see them broken down into their constituent sectors there. You can find this at empirespace.org slash data. You come to our homepage, uh, just empirespace.org. You see up at the top bar here, data, right the data map. So you'll see up here at the top left, legislative sector, click on that. This is the legislative database uh, that we are going to, to talk about. But quick, I wanted to show you something else because all of these other tables have legislative information in them as well. And I'll show you a quick example. Uh, come down here, colleges and universities. This is our colleges and universities database of all of the higher education space and aerospace organizations, student clubs, degree programs, et cetera, in the state. And you'll find institution, location, uh, the type, resources available, social media links if possible. And then the final columns here, you have AD and SD. AD stands for Assembly District, SD stands for Senate District. So here we have Adelphi, it's on Long Island. It's in the 19th District of the Assembly, 6th District of the Senate. Click on this, where does it take us? It takes us to the page of the member of the 19th Assembly District. And it takes us to the page of the member of the sixth senate district and this is intended so that all of these stakeholders here every single one of uh, these organizations these groups anyone who's interested knows who their representative is so they can go and find them and build those relationships and it's true for all of our other tables as well come down here uh the private sector our space companies database same here you know NARDA out on Long Island, it's in the 8th district, come over here. Now they, they can have easy direct access to their representative. So that half of the coin is facilitated by the legislative coding in all of these tables here. Uh, so stakeholders, so space sector groups can identify their partners in government. The second half of this equation is the legislative uh, table itself. So all of that uh, data, all of the codes from all those other tables, you reverse engineer it, flip it back. You now have one table of every legislative district in the state in assembly, ascending order, starting with the assembly. Eventually you scroll up, you get to the Senate. Against all of the tables that we track that information for, business capital, business services, civic groups, higher education, K through 12, MURAP, which is the minority schools, uh, planetary and observatories, and space companies. So now, legislators, staffers, civic groups, advocacy groups, people who are in the Albany orbit can come to this table and find the components of the space ecosystem in their district. What parts of the New York space ecosystem do they represent? So now you come over here, uh, sixth district, Higher education, you got 10 higher education institutions in space or education uh, in the 6th Senate District. Click on higher education. It takes you back to higher education table. And here we are at the 6th sixth, sixth District. And now you can see all of the space-related institutions there for that district. So that is the information provided in this table. So it allows the government component to identify the space sector stakeholders in their district. Uh, and we believe that this is vitally important uh, to, to raise that level of awareness and information. <clears throat> we know that space and aerospace has not been a priority in Albany, 
And we feel that this level of information making it easy access for legislators to identify um, is, is an important step. And now you have both sides of the coin. Stakeholders can identify the legislators who are responsive to their needs and their concerns as they look to grow. And now legislators can identify the components of the space sector in their district. So that is a brief summary of the legislative uh, sector uh, data available in the Empire Space Census. Empire Space also has a written report on the legislative sector. If you come over to the reports section and scroll down, legislative analysis has a long form uh, written version of some of the methodology, some of the things we've studied, analyzing some of the past legislation in the state. There isn't much of a legislative track record in New York, but there is some. Uh, so we encourage you to come here read a little bit more about some of this legislation, some of it's ceremonial, some of it's administrative. Um, there was a previous uh, effort to establish a space task force in New York um, in 2017-2018. In uh, we, we think that's an effort worth studying. Uh, so this report is available here. Uh, we encourage you to come check that out as well. So that's a summary of the legislative resources available uh, in the Empire Space Census. Uh, and we, we hope this information uh, leads to stakeholders uh, reaching out to their legislators, legislators becoming more informed about the space ecosystem in their state. Uh, and this keeps the cycle of growth moving forward. Uh, so we hope this has been informative. Thank you very much for joining us. I look forward to future tutorials on other aspects of the Empire Space Census and the work that we do here. Uh, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to us at info at empirespace.org. Thank you very much. Be safe.